today, May 7th. Started my channel on June 1st. 256 subscribers. Basically how you get found it has helped me grow. Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So this video is going to be the 10 things that I wish I knew before I started the YouTube channel. Now, these might help you grow as well, and these are things that I have learned throughout my year-ish on YouTube. So yeah, I'm currently filming this on May 2nd, and I started my channel June 1st, 2019. So yeah, I've almost had my channel for a year, and these are the things that I've learned and that I wish I knew before, and that would probably have helped my growing journey. Oh, and if you see me looking at my phone, I have a list. So. Number one is that you can turn off your sub count. Now I actually just did this today just as an experiment because I have a video that goes live tomorrow and I want to see if it gains me more subscribers than normal because I get maybe like two subscribers per video. Um, but I want to see if this one gains me more subscribers than normal because I turned off my subscriber count because a lot of times people will be reluctant to subscribe if you are a smaller channel. I don't know why that is. I feel like it should be the other way around, but a lot of people want to subscribe to more popular channels and they don't really subscribe to smaller channels. So I wanted to know if it would work and I will be updating you. I might even pop in while I'm editing. And okay guys, so I do think that this has actually been working because let's see, when I made this video on May 2nd, I had, what was it, like 240, 30, something like that? Or maybe, no, maybe it was 20. I don't know. But, as of today, May 7th, I have 256 subscribers. Um, now, I also had 521 views on my What's On My Purse video. So, that is also a big part of that and um, I've also been in Facebook groups as well so that could be part of it too but yeah I wanted to share that with you guys that I think it does actually work and tell you if it worked or not after tomorrow number two is that you need to use tags so I didn't really use these when I first started my channel because I didn't really understand how it worked tags are basically how you get found you put in all these keywords all these combinations of things and you use them to help your video be found and it helps you appear higher in search too which I will also get into a little later in this video but tags are so so important and I recommend TubeBuddy that's what I use um, I have the not the free version but the one right above that so it's pretty cheap and since I have under a thousand subscribers um, I do get it even cheaper and since I'm going to pay annually, I get it even cheaper as well. So definitely recommend that, especially if you are a small YouTuber under a thousand subscribers because you can get a half off discount, which is awesome. Okay, first of all, I don't know why I said awesome like that. It really makes me uncomfortable, honestly. Um, but I really finessed that situation. So I think it's like $9 a month and then um, having less than a thousand knocked me down to... 450 and then paying annually knocked it down to 360 a month so basically I pay like $42 a year for what it does and it pretty much does almost everything so I definitely recommend it um yeah you are spending a little bit of money but it's definitely worth it number three is to join Facebook groups I only recently did this and it has helped me grow probably like 30 ish subscribers and I'm in like two Facebook groups I have also just created my own Facebook group it's called ladies on YouTube I will also put the link down below so you can just click on it go straight to it I would love for any girls that are on YouTube to go join it um, it would be awesome and yeah I'm looking to grow the group. Um, I've been trying to get some people to join, like DMing some girls on Instagram and stuff like that. But yeah, if any of you guys want to join, go ahead and do that. I like to join the girl ones just because they're more supportive and it's not all sub for sub. By the way, I would just like to let you know um, that if you are like following me on Instagram or something and you want me to like check out your channel or something like that, don't DM me with just your link or sub for sub 
because I'm not going to do it. If you send me something and you're like, hey, like, I have this channel, like, you know, I'd want to support each other. We can, like, would you check out my channel or something like that? And, like, if you're nice and then, like, you send me your link, then, yeah, I will. But if you just DM me with your link or saying sub for sub, I'm not going to do that because I don't like sub for sub. Um, I will only subscribe if I actually like your channel. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and people share their thumbnails and they're like, help me like pick which one I want to do. And that's what I actually did for my what's on my purse video, which goes up tomorrow. And yeah, I definitely recommend joining them. And you can share your videos every single time that they upload or that you post them. And it's just really good to promote for your channel. And you definitely want to pick and choose which group you join though because some of them have really strict rules and I actually joined one um, that I ended up really not liking because my posts kept getting declined because of like stupid reasons. Like one was because I didn't have a hashtag in it um, and then one of them I did have a hashtag in it but then it declined it and said that I didn't have a hashtag so. And it's not like it's the website, it's the admins that are doing it. And one of the admins in that group is a pretty popular YouTuber and I watched her videos and I looked up to her and then I found out that she's not the greatest person because of some things that happened in that group. So yeah, kind of sad, but when you find the right Facebook group, it really is just amazing and it really helps your channel and you make some new friends too. You don't blow up overnight. YouTube takes a lot of work and it looks like I'm just sitting down, just chilling out. I could wear my PJs if I wanted to and then I could upload a video. But it takes a lot more work than that. I spend hours and hours editing. I take so much time filming. I literally redid my intro four or five times. I will insert the clip here of me struggling. I wish that I knew before I started a YouTube channel. Um, mm, I don't like that at all. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing 10 tips or... <clears throat> Wait, no, I don't want to say that. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing 10 tips... <laughs> but YouTube takes time and it takes a lot of work and you're not going to blow up after one video. You need to be consistent and do so many different things. And that's how you grow. Do your research. I wish that I would have looked things up, learned how the algorithm works, learned how to grow on YouTube, and just done so much more research on everything before I just jumped into having a channel. This channel was such a good decision for me and it makes me really happy, but I do wish that I would have learned some stuff before I did my whole two videos a week over the summer, which that was really good and I'm really proud of myself for doing that, but at the same time, I wasn't using the right strategy, so I wasn't growing. And maybe it wouldn't have taken me almost a whole year to hit 100 subscribers. Number six is to watch videos on how to grow on YouTube. This is something that I watch all the time, and they're really helpful. Um, there are so many bigger YouTubers out there, and a lot of them share their tips, which I really think is really cool, and I really appreciate it. And I think that if they're going to share their tips with you, you should take them because obviously they've been successful and those tips have worked for them. So try to implement it into your own YouTube channel. I'm getting uncomfortable. I'm also going to whine. This light hurts my eyes so bad, but it makes my lighting better. So we're just going to deal with it. Number seven is to make searchable content. This is something that's really important as a small YouTuber because a lot of times when you're a smaller channel, YouTube isn't going to push you out onto home pages. The place that you're going to be found is the search. That's how you get found as a small YouTuber. So if you make searchable content and use a whole bunch of keywords, that's going to get you found and that's going to help you grow. And going back to my first thing, if you are found but your subscriber count is off and people don't know how small of a channel you are, people are more likely to subscribe and that just really helps you grow. So I definitely recommend putting all these things together and using them to your advantage and helping your channel grow. Number eight is to use lots and lots of keywords. Keywords in your titles, keywords in your description, keywords in your tags, keywords in your channel description. You want keywords 
everywhere because that is how you get found. YouTube is a search engine and I feel like we forget that sometimes. It's not just a video platform, it is a search engine. And it is the second biggest search engine in the world after Google, which YouTube is owned by Google, so. Anyway, keywords are super important and the more keywords you have, the more likely you are to rank higher in search and be found quicker because not everybody scrolls really far when they search something to find a video. Number nine is that thumbnails are so important. When I first started my channel, I didn't really spend a whole lot of time on thumbnails because I didn't really think anything of it. And my thumbnails honestly really sucked. So yeah, thumbnails are the first thing people see. They're, the, they're what makes people click the video. I don't know why I didn't spend more time on my thumbnails. I really work harder on my thumbnails now and I'm really trying to improve them and make them more clickable because you want your thumbnail to be clickable. And coming from experience, I watch YouTube all the time. A lot of times I don't even look at titles. I'll see the thumbnail and then I'll click on it. And that's what gets me to watch the video. So I don't know why I didn't think of that because I have watched YouTube for so long and I didn't think... Make your thumbnails good. Number 10 is that YouTube prefers 10 minute videos because they want people on their site for as long as possible. So if your videos are around 10 minutes or more, they're gonna love your video and they're gonna push it more, especially if it has high audience retention because then they know that people are enjoying your video and watching it all the way through. And that's why I love when you guys watch all the way through my videos and like you'll comment something like about something that happened in the end and it really just makes me feel good because I know that you guys are watching the whole thing and my curly hair routine video that one had like 56 percent audience retention rate and that's higher than i think i've ever gotten but that's because it was a how-to kind of video it was like a tutorial and that is something that people will stick around and watch this video i'm assuming will have pretty decent audience retention rate because it's something that i'm continuing to give you tips over and over again and you want to see all of them if it doesn't have good audience retention then i just suck but um yeah, so videos that are 10 minutes or longer are going to help YouTube push you out there because they want people to stay on their platform for as long as possible. So 10 minutes or more and it's going to help you rank higher in search as well. So these are all things that I've actually learned through my experience of having a YouTube channel and recently I've been doing a lot of things, watching videos on how to grow, joining Facebook groups, um, like talking to people on Instagram and all these things and it has helped me grow and over the past month I have hit or I have gained over 100 subscribers and that is something that I never thought would happen because it took me almost a year to hit 100 subscribers. So. I definitely recommend using these tips because they do work and I will let you know how the subscriber count works and if anything good comes out of it um, while I'm editing this. I'm sure you've already seen it by now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it was really helpful for you guys and yeah, I hope it gives you some advice on your YouTube channel and if any of these things work for you, definitely let me know. You can either comment, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram's always down below as well. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post every Sunday and Wednesday now. All my videos have been saying just Sunday, but now I post Wednesdays too. So make sure that you are subscribed so that every time you look in your subscription box on a Sunday or Wednesday, my videos will pop up and you will make sure that you don't miss one. I will see you guys. I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, so either Wednesday or Sunday. <laughs>